capacity <clears throat> to believe you can challenge a divine power. That's why we're in America. That's why we're in America to this day. Because we didn't want to listen. This I got something real quick. Yeah. This sounds like uh, I said to one of the brothers earlier. This is what you niggas said. This is Matthew 27 and 25. Then answer I then answer all the people and said, His blood uh his blood be upon us and our children. Sure it is. Yep, and it, it is, man. And that's why <laughs> at the end of the day, you can't feel bad. Yeah. You can't feel bad for these niggas, man. Because if you knew the list of sins that they committed before the eyes of the Heavenly Father, you wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, he deserved that shit. He deserved the this thing that happened. Even the terribleness of what happened to Sam Holt, which you Edomites are going to be paid back for, yeah. which if you don't know the story of Sam Holt, he was a man who was, who was burned alive yeah, in his like body. Things. Yep, the picture <laughs> that those Jews. <laughs> hey, you can't even, you, you feel bad. But you, if you, if we actually knew what he did, he yeah. he deserved it. He deserved that to happen to him because the, what did they do? They cast a Yahushua's garment for Lot, and what happened to him? His body was cut up and sold sold for Lot also. So he could have been one of those people who said, "Let let his blood be upon um, me and my children." So you can't feel bad for Jake at the end of the day. E even when you look at the book of Second uh, Second Ezra, the angel basically said, "Fuck these niggas, man." Uh -huh. These niggas had their chance. He said, worry about yourself and the righteous. Exactly. The Lord don't care. The, the, hey, the Lord, the angel told Ezra, can you love the Lord's people more than he can? You can. And the Lord, through through the Lord's love, he's going to kill you niggas, man. And he's going to put you in the right mindset, just like he put uh, my, uh, no, uh, what's the prodigy. Name? prodigy in the right mindset, because that nigga did. And he's in the spirit world. He got smacked in the back of the head. And he in his right mind saying that that's going to come back in the kingdom in the right way. And be and be totally righteous. But right now, when these niggas start to die, when these niggas get shot down, when they get killed by the so-called white man, look like they innocent, they not. None of us are innocent. Nobody is innocent on this planet. Death is, is really required of all of us. But through the mercy of Yahweh, Ba Shemi Shad, some of the elect members aren't going to receive death, man. They're going to receive his mercy and be delivered from the perils which are to come. I got some. You got something, right? Yeah. You uh, got Zechariah uh, 7 and 11, it says, But they refused to hearken, talking about our people, and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should you know, not hear. You know, somebody tried to grab you. Uh, You're like, hey, co come here, man. I'm trying to help you. Talk to me, that. man. You know, That's what he was doing in that video. Spiritually, because he knows what he should be doing, but he was showing that he wasn't going to. He was willingly turning his shoulders, stopping his ears, and uh, ignoring the words of prophecy for his fucking stomach. That burn it. Verse uh, 12. <clears throat> Pork don't even taste that good. No, it don't, bro. It's not, it's not no exquisite meat. It's not. Verse 12. It says, uh, yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. At least they should hear the law. Hey, and just like, hey, just like how Leviathan's skin is Thicker than yep. thicker than nails. That's basically. Jake Spears. That's Jake Spears, man. Okay, uh, uh, Starting heart, a heart sealed with a hot, hot iron. You know, when you iron something, you actually singe it, and that, that burn mark is damn near impossible to get rid of. That's the two thirds heart. God it says, uh, "In the words which the Lord of Hosts hath sent in His Spirit by the former prophets, therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of Hosts." All right, and there came and. And All of our great captivities great. and destruction that came to us is the great wrath. And so we have one more great wrath about to happen because of all of our people's wickedness. Oh, you got it. This is uh, Amos 4 and verse 11. I have overthrown some of you as Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and, have, and, you, and ye were as <laughs> fire, firebrands plucked out of the, out of the burning. So basically, you 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 got your ass to say. Yet have you not returned unto me, says the Lord Yahweh, by Shimei Al Shai. Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto unto thee, prepare to meet thy thy power, O Israel. So that's where that saying comes from: prepare to meet thy Maker, because the Lord is. Oh, read it. Did it say thy God? Prepare to meet thy God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Read that. Read, just read that regular real quick. Okay. This is uh, Amos 12 and verse, Amos 4 and verse 12. Therefore, th therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, 
and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O house of O, o Israel. And what name? What did he keep saying? God this, God that. Oh, I'm gonna tell. No, okay. The heaven you go, the heavenly Father. Okay, that's who you gonna meet. You know, because they don't know the heavenly Father in his son's name. That's the only title they know. So that's who you gonna meet. Since you want to, since you want to see the heavenly Father so bad, you gonna get to him in a vicious manner. He's going to excavate you out your body as painfully as possible since you have such great words uh, that you want to get off your chest. Great bold words. Yeah. You need to say that shit, man. Yeah, that looked bad on our whole people. Now that we look like a, a, a making Jake look bad, man. You didn't need to say that shit. Man. You need <laughs> some pork. You're not supposed to be eating pork. Anyway, you, mean, you ain't. Just go ahead and get out, Jake. You don't need to say that shit. Your grandma would be ashamed. Yep. Yeah. What well, big mama say? Yeah, what your big mama gonna say about that? Mom D White. I mean, uh, that nigga's name. Boosie, Probably. why you say Probably. that? Boosie, why you say that? You I got it. More. <clears throat> Boosie, why you say yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is Ezekiel. This is my last one, too. Okay. This is Ezekiel 7 and verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, how old by Shemi Al Shai? Well, I'll start at 4. And my, I'll start at 3. Now, an end is come upon thee. And I will send my anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thy abominations. And my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thy, and thy abominations shall be, be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the, that I am the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. So the Lord's going to make his terror known unto you, man. That's how you're going to get to know the Lord, through his wrath. The, the worst way you can get to know the Heavenly Father or get to know somebody is through their anger, man. Somebody, <laughs> That's a horrible way to meet the Heavenly Father, man. Hey, Lord might have you get eaten by some pigs, man. Getting e eaten by some pigs, that's a horrible death. That's that's horrible. Them sharp-ass teeth grinding on you. Eating, eating each limb. Oh. Uh, Galatians 6 and 7. It says, Be not deceived, the most high power is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Come. And that day, that's be hey, the heavenly that's father, you had quoted it. The heavenly father's not mocked. All right. That's not gonna that's not gonna go unpunished. If he saw hey, man, the righteous don't get away for King David didn't get away with his BS. Solomon, King Solomon, we don't. So you Eli. sure man, you sure shit not going to, man. Eli. You fucking greasy, black skinned ass. Tar uh, uh, hey, <laughs> with that we gonna give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhal Kurash, the honors to the elders and the apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and uh, salutations to all of them. Like I can walk, walk, and learning, teaching the truth and sincerity. Hey, I can let that. Don't be like that guy. Don't be like have have some fear of the Lord upon you. Don't be like that guy. And so Shalom. Shalom.